First up, everyone, Hiawassee College putting on its last commencement ceremony tonight. The Madisonville Institution now closing its doors for good. Yeah, the university was founded in 1849. We told you back in March, Hiawassee College would close at the end of the spring 2019 semester. School leaders citing financial reasons. The college's president telling us tonight it's something she never anticipated. So while we're very, very grateful for the opportunity to have served them, we're also very challenged in our hearts that we weren't able to continue. Now, six on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel out at tonight's graduation. Yeah, she joins us now live here in the studios. And Elizabeth, you've been speaking with graduates. So how are they feeling tonight? Yeah, guys, a word that I heard used a lot by them was the term bittersweet, kind of summing up how they're feeling tonight. The closing of their school is something they're thinking about. But of course, they're also excited about this moment, the moment that they've been working for getting their degrees. <laughs> A feeling of accomplishment and a sense of pride. 73 graduates at Hiawassee College earning their bachelor's or associate's degrees. I'm feeling ecstatic, honestly. I'm feel accomplished that I'm getting my degree. My family's here and my friend, all my, like I'm graduating with some of my friends and I'm just really excited. I kind of want to cry, but it's okay. A thought also on many minds Friday, the permanent closure of their now alma mater. A bittersweet, I'm losing a lot of friends. You know, some guys that I'll never really see again and. With the school closing down, it's, it's tough because it's not somewhere where I can come back to. Last time I'll ever see most of these people around here. For some, the news made a big impact, having to rearrange future plans, but for others, not so much. The school closing down is kind of the perfect time for me. I have my getting my associates and then I can move on to bigger and better things now. I had some friends asking me what I was going to do because I planned to stay here for two more years and I didn't really know what was going on and it was just devastating for a lot of us because like I said we are kind of like a big family. As these students start their next chapter they're looking back on the last one with fond memories. It's been like family. I mean I've made a lot of new friends, met a lot of new people. Hawassi was a great school and I really did love it. Now, all of those students that we talked to tonight are moving on either to get their bachelor's degrees or MBAs. As for the future of Hiawassee's property, the college's president telling me no word yet on what will happen with it. Kristen. All right, Elizabeth, thank you so much. Now, earlier this week, everyone, Hiawassee President Dr. Robin Tricoli met with the district attorney and the TBI as well as the state comptroller's office. Hiawassee believes a disgruntled former employee or faculty member made allegations about the college's finances. Dr. Tricoli says those are false and misleading, but must be investigated and that Hiawassee is complying. 